Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday with Orbis. We're here at the Little Olympics to give you uh, just a background view of what happens because this is a big tradition in Altus, Oklahoma and Altus Public Schools, the partnership with the Kiwanis Club and the uh, Little Olympics. It's been going on for many, many years and we just want to give you a behind the scenes uh, look at it. We're here in the assistant superintendent's office. We haven't been here yet this year. It's kind of exciting to be in here and see her office, but uh, Miss Holder has been in the district for 38 years and has been a part of Little Olympics for many years. So she's just going to kind of give us a little background about how it used to be and why we kind of had to change the format uh, because of realignment. So tell us how it used to be by grades and it's just a big deal about this. It's a lot of heritage. And well, first of all, this is a Kiwanis sponsored event. And the Kiwanis have had the Little Olympics for, and I really don't know how many years, but when we used to have five, six schools, elementary schools, they always had teams, a boys team and a girls team. We had dashes, relays, the long jump, football throw, softball throw. And so it was a big competition between the schools each year as to what team we're going to win. They each get points, just like they figure in a regular track meet. And you got to carry the trophy and have it at your school. When we aligned, it made it a little bit difficult for us to be able to do that. So we worked really hard with Kiwanis this year to try to bring back some of that tradition. So we have combined third and fourth grades with Rivers and Altus Elementary School. Those students are competing on four different teams. And we're all Bulldogs. We have the Navy Blue Bulldogs, the Light Blue Bulldogs, the White Bulldogs, and the Gray Bulldogs. And so those are in combination teams and they're competing at the Altus Junior High in the same events that we've always had. That's great. Uh, it's always a big community event, a lot of uh, heritage and culture to it. Uh, we're excited that we're able to continue to do that. I appreciate Ms. Holder's hard work and again Mr. Richardson's hard work to make it all come together. Well I hope you enjoyed this week's Wednesday with Warbus. It's a very exciting time. These kids have done a great job and they've really enjoyed themselves. It's such a great tradition here in Altus, the uh, Little Olympics. Uh, I also want to wish the Altus High School boys and girls track team good luck at 